Hi everybody, I just wanted to make some uh, updates here. Um, so, some of you are aware that um, I've used to host a audio commentary series called Trek Through Trek. Um, the, the idea of that was that I would basically record an audio commentary as I would watch an episode, on headphones of course, and um, <clears throat> make a commentary on it and with, with a format that's kind of similar to riff tracks. Now, now, it's not meant to be riffing, but that's kind of what I ended up doing for the most part. Um, I think it was last week or the week before that um, uh, I, I did the episode for the Apple. Episode 38, was it? Uh, something like that. Um, and I actually accompanied that with a live stream on Mixcloud. Uh, so... Anybody who wanted to tune in could watch the episode on their end and listen to my commentary as we go live. But uh, that, w that wasn't what I would consider a huge success. After I've posted uh, the recorded version of that, um, it just kind of dawned on me that it's not a very good series. The original reason I started to do that series was because uh, I wanted to review uh, Trek episodes. And I, and I still want to review Trek episodes and give all my thoughts on them because I think they're all important. And I decided to do the audio commentary instead because uh, writing out a review was really time consuming for me at the time, especially for the regularity I was planning on. Um, it, it was just a lot of info and it ended up kind of resembling more of like a, synop like a synopsis with some of my opinions added instead. And uh, I conceived the Trek through Trek uh, audio commentary series as a bit of a, an alternative to that, so I can kind of rattle off all my thoughts immediately and and actually post that with some regularity, regularity without so much hassle. But the problem is, uh, it seems more like a hassle to whoever would uh, use the thing uh, than than something on my end. It's it's more like uh, nobody uh, seemed to really know it existed and I was putting a lot of effort into something that nobody really wanted to kind of go through the trouble to overlay on top of an episode. It seemed like a lot of work and I understand it. I don't believe, I don't blame anybody for thinking it was a waste of time. Um, and right now I, it, um, I'm realizing I've got, I'm getting a bigger workload, uh, in terms of personal projects, uh, a lot recently. So, uh, um, effectively, uh, during this month I'll be Canceling the Trek through Trek uh, series for good. Um, so my Captivate page will be gone, I think. I, I believe the way it works is that I will shut down a show and that's that. Now here's the thing. I still, like I said just now, I want to keep on doing some kind of Trek review. But what I would like to do instead is to kind of take a break from all this kind of analytical stuff. Just kind of watch Star Trek as a relaxation and purely for pleasure and um, get my mind off of it and then come back strong with a, with a new review series. Um, I don't know what it's going to be called. Um, I haven't planned that far yet. But now that I'm more active doing videos and such, I think I might want to do a proper video review series that's actually scripted. As it turns out, I'm much better at scripting things and going by them instead of uh, the whole uh, going off off the cuff kind of thing. <laughs> you see, this, this video is pretty off the cuff and um, uh, I'm kind of all over the place right now and um, kind of making stuff up as I go on. But um, but but I think uh, the viewer will agree that uh, my uh, scripted uh, material is much better. I I'm much a I'm much better writer than a, a off the cuff pontificator. Um, so um, I th so I want to give it a rest for a bit. But maybe I'll come back strong, starting over again from the very beginning, the cage, and mid 2022 maybe um, this year is just too busy for me i've got I've, I've given myself a lot of work um and uh well that that's what i wanted to let people know like you know what are you talking about you know some people didn't even know i had a trek through trek series going on well um i just talked about it and i and i'm also just telling you it's it's over for now so um the very few of you that i can count on one hand that supported the series well Thanks a bunch. You know, I hope you got something out of it. But um, yeah, like every time I would record a series, uh, record an episode like that, um, I just uh, <clears throat> I, I think I end up not saying half of what I really would have wanted to. Um, and I, I guess I tried to rely on my my sense of wit, which is really lacking. <laughs> I have zero wit. Um, 
in, in, uh, in trying to get something going uh, and talk and, and and the problem is it suffer suffer from a lot of other things too like I would be silent for a lot of the parts I'm just kind of watching and I'm kind of finding the temptation to just want to just shut up and watch but um you know it, it, I have to say something and sometimes the, it turns out to be just kind of jokes so it's, so it really would be like rip tracks I'm just kind of joking on some crazy thing or what you know some of the jokes I thought were funny but some were kind of stupid and um well, once again, I'm just not good at uh, off-the-cuff stuff like that. So, yeah, I just really wanted to give that update. Now, i got another update for you. Um, uh, I wanted to share the article schedule, the tentative article schedule for my V for Vernon WordPress blog. Um, so, the one I'm working on now is a objectivist perspective on cancel culture. Um, I don't want to give too much away now. But one thing I've been realizing is that um, I don't think the article is going to be just about cancel culture anymore. Like, like it'll, it'll be still a strong part of it. It'll be a foundation. But, um, you know, now we've got tech, big tech censorship happening as we speak right now. You know, we're, um, uh, we're seeing a lot of... Uh, Crazy, you know, you know, crazy stuff. Kind of, you know, the shutdown of Parler is a big time one. Um, but you know, the deplatforming has been going on for some time, and um, well, it's just, just as going to be as much of a part of, of the subject of the article uh, as well as the cancel culture thing. In fact, they're pre I, I think they're overlapping in terms of category, but uh, it'll be an objectivist sort of lens on this whole thing. Um, and again, I, d I don't want to give away details here, um, especially since I haven't quite outlined it yet, but I'm going to, I intend to dedicate my immediate future into working on that particular article, especially because it's become so relevant. Um, so I'm going to speak on two, three, and four. Um, so the second one is another objectivist sort of related one. I, I, I know, like, uh, I, you know, hey, I'm an objectivist, and I like talking about it. I like talking about Ayn Rand. So I'm going to do an analysis on Rand's article, Through Your Mo Most Grievous Fault. You can find that uh, uh, on the on the essay collection uh, from the Ayn Rand Library, uh, The Voice of Reason. I think it's volume six, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it's called The Voice of Reason, Essays in, in Objectivist Thought. So it's an essay straight off from that. And it was like a... Uh, and, and basically what it is is about kind of a reaction to... Marilyn Monroe's death uh, at the time, and uh, she was kind of kind of talking about uh, uh, her best qualities and why a world that doesn't uh, th that didn't rather appreciate her innocence uh, ultimately served to kill her. And I, and I talked a little bit about it uh, in a past interview I did with um, uh, Greta Aurora and Elizabeth Hobson together. Uh, it's not on YouTube; it's on BitChute. Um, but uh, I, I talked a little bit about it there, but I wanted to do an actual in-depth analysis on the idea of, uh, of of that article and the idea of innocent sexuality uh, through what Marilyn Monroe was. So um, I'm actually not terribly familiar with Mar Marilyn Monroe movies that much, so maybe some uh, research is in order. Maybe I should watch some movies. Um, the third one in the entry is, um, <clears throat> well, one thing that's going on in men's rights circles is uh, the idea that there is a way of man. Everybody, you know, speaks about uh, the Jack Donovan book, The Way of Man. Um, I haven't read that book, but um, I've kind of got some idea of what it's about. And it, you know, I do want to actually read it and kind of be sure I got my facts straight. But what I gathered from it is that, you know, it has a view, uh, a view of men that I kind of disagree with. Uh, I think there are more than one ways of man. There's a common denominator of masculinity, right? Um, but it finds itself manifested and expressed in many, many ways that uh, uh, maybe the trad cons would not like to admit. Um, but uh, but I wanted to do a series of something like that. And, um, and for a start, I, I wanted to zero in on, well, I wanted to zero in on like characters and fiction and stuff like that. And I wanted my first entry on that one uh, for this article uh, schedule slot to be an analysis of the main characters of Seven Samurai. 
uh, what a recent favorite movie. I can't believe I never saw this movie. It's it's so good. It's such a good movie. Um, but uh, you'll uh, hear how good a movie it is, or or read how good a movie it is. Um, in that article. Now the fourth one uh, was inspired by uh, a recent interview I did with Graham Smith of uh, the YouTube and Bitshoot channels Voluntary Japan. And we talked about uh, the individualism of Japanese people and whether they're really that collectivist or not. Now, obviously, some aspects they are, but we talked about how individualist they could be. And speaking as both an observer and someone who was born and grown up there, um, there's a lot of potential for individualism, I think. And I want to explore that in that in the number four article. So that's my schedule uh, that I tentatively have going on for... Um, uh, from from my blog, and actually, um, somewhere in between there, there's probably going to be uh, an, a text interview with a certain somebody that I'm not going to divulge right now. Uh, so that that could be sneak its way in, in, into the schedule. But one more thing: um, after I get done with the the cancel culture article, that's the first one. Um, there is a possibility I want to take a break and work on a book. Um, I've already outlined the book. It is a men's issues book. Um, I, I I got I got done outlining it yesterday. Actually, I just need to kind of really really write it. Um, but that's going to take some time, and so I'm going to be spending a lot of my writing energy on that one. Um, I'm sure I'll uh, keep keep a regular enough flow of um, the, the articles going forward. But um, one thing that would encourage me is that if um, I get some uh, subscribe star uh, supporters and the supporters tier, that would really inspire me to get some kind of regularity going on and more diligent work with my articles. Right now, it's just kind of whenever I feel like it, whenever I have the time, whenever I have a good idea, that sort of thing. But um, the more supporters I have, um, the more incentivized I am to get stuff out with some kind of regularity and with excellent quality. And I got something, got some more secrets planned when it comes to the to the to the cancel culture article uh so i think it's going to be something big um now the last thing uh that i want to talk about today uh well i want to gauge my audience uh on something we've got our big tech uh deplatformings happening and um basically i've been kind of disinclined to support the bigger ones like twitter and facebook and uh i have to say even youtube um some of you know I have a bit shoot channel. Um, I've been posting videos on there long before I started doing videos on YouTube. Now I've gotten, admittedly, uh, more feedback, views, and 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 such on YouTube uh, than on bit shoot. I think uh, it's taken this long to get the amount of subscribers I have on bit shoot, uh, but uh, I got the same amount of subscribers and way sooner time on YouTube. So I don't. I don't think I'll get rid of my YouTube account for vi posting videos, but I, I wanted to ask the audience something. What would you say if all I posted on YouTube are previews of upcoming videos? So say I have an interview with a big subject like I did with the, the, the intellectual dark web and the MGM stuff and, and any given interview I have. Maybe post uh, what is essentially a, a, a preview video you know, you know if you want to see the full video go check it out on bitshoot that kind of a thing so this is something i really really want uh uh viewer feedback on um is this a good idea or not um and you know there are other kind of video platforms i'm considering too like uh what what's the what's that other video platform rumbler i, I think it is I, I i don't know it was something like that but um i can uh, i can definitely consider doing that so um yeah, but anyway, that's um, I, I, that's something I want to ask the the audience about. I wanted to ask my uh, viewers uh, and see if it's a good idea or not. Because you know, you know, uh, I appreciate everybody uh, leaving their feedback here on, on YouTube, but um, I think it'll be a really good proactive thing if we can get some more action happening on outside platforms and alt tech platforms. Uh, so, yeah, just uh, let me know in the comments or message me directly if you can do that somehow. Um, and um, subscribe to uh, uh, my uh, Subscribestar and uh, 
uh, there's a general fo- uh, follower, uh, uh, subscriber uh, tier called the the casual fans tier, and it's one dollar. Uh, you you have my thanks. Then then we have the supporters tier, uh, in which you get thanked textually at the end of my videos. I'm actually going to thank uh, my my current supporter right here. <laughs> thank you. Um, and uh, you you also get early access to videos, that kind of thing. Um, you get uh, at the moment uh, you get a day uh, early uh, essentially uh, for any of my videos and even some any kind of music I want to uh, showcase there's also some exclusive stuff music related exclusive stuff currently on uh, subscribe star right now anyway that's uh, that, that actually ended up being a bit longer than anticipated video so um, thank you for watching uh, let me know your thoughts and everything so all right bye now